I'm Richard Lindley. For over 30 years, I was a broadcaster for BBC Panorama and ITN News. Now I have dementia, but I still enjoy talking to my friends. And now I'm joined by my wife, Carol. Carol, how has the marriage changed your life? Tremendously, sweetheart, tremendously. When I joined the BBC as a secretary, aged 21, they said you will be established staff in two years, and I said I'll be married in two years, and 35 years later, a man, you, asked me to marry him, and I was married at 57, and it's been an absolutely fascinating journey since then. A very, very fascinating journey. So, how does it work? What happens in this particular disease? Is it physical, mental, dangerous, not dangerous? What's the best way to go to people with this disease and say, help me, my life is going to pieces? Well, I think from the experience since you've had Alzheimer's, sweetheart, which was three years ago and to the present day, I think that we have really have gone on a very, very fascinating journey together because it goes from your point of view from being a little forgetful to being more forgetful and then even to sometimes saying that you have no direction and having just got dressed should you now get undressed and often you say to me even now you say I know I love you darling but I can't remember your name and you will remember the things you've done as a BBC and an ITN News reporter very well indeed, from your days in Biafra, in Vietnam. I can remember so many people you've interviewed, Saddam Hussein, you've interviewed Idi Amin, Mandela, and yet your children only ever remember that you've interviewed the Beatles. But I think that now it's at a stage where you are more and more forgetful and need a little bit of direction on even moving around the house and in remembering early things and I think that the way you've dealt with it never moaning never putting blame on anyone but anything that's happened in the past I've grown to love you more more every day and I think I've always asked that when I die I wanted someone to put on my tombstone she took life in her stride and you my darling I think you're taking life in your stride. Thanks Carol. Now when did all this happen? Was there a particular date or time? Well, I think, as you know, I used to produce a programme called Any Questions for Radio 4 for many years. And I, in those days, very exciting it was. And I miss broadcasting. And I'm sure that you do too miss broadcasting. And that's one of the reasons why I think we are, and you are so enjoying having your regular podcast. And I think we thought that if you went back to broadcasting in this way, it would bring back some of the memories that you enjoyed so much, some of the music in some of the podcasts we do. And as you know, we're starting Music for Dementia in October, uh, where we'll just have a couple of hours with people who suffer from dementia, listening to music and singers. But isn't it going to be just simply too old, too expensive, too late to get on air? This this doesn't sound to me like something... Uh, full of full of get up and go, but rather old people doddering into middle age. Well, I never thought of it that way, although I do sometimes think myself things I haven't done rather than things I'm going to do. But I think that uh, you know, you're the one that tells me what are those wonderful, wonderful words that you always, always use for me that have had such an extraordinary effect. I think they were spoken by Julian of Norwich or um, Dame Julia, and they're All shall be well, and all manner of thing shall be well. And when I hear you say that, particularly if I'm in your arms, it makes the world seem possible and that we can do anything. And I think that the podcast we do and whatever we do from now until the day we die can be what we make it. We can take the challenge and we can learn from everything. And I learn every day from you. Good. It varies a lot, doesn't it? I don't know if you remember, but when we first met, you you always had classical music on and sound of all sorts of music in the house. And I think I used to talk so much, eventually you stopped having the music all the time. And that was my mistake. And then you read so much and you still do read to me in bed every night. We've done everything from War and Peace, Midnight Children to children's books. And I've thoroughly enjoyed it. 
And the one book that you read to me was one that you said when you were at Cambridge University, you read it all in one weekend because it made such a huge, huge effect on you. And when it wasn't quite so powerful for me, you really put your hands above your heads and you looked at me and you said, well, I may have to reconsider. And that was before you'd asked me to marry him. So I was quite, quite uh, concerned about it. But what was it about Middlemarch that particularly made you feel so much you wanted to get to the end and so made such an impact on you? We mortals, fresh and women, devouring many a disappointment between breakfast and dinner time, keep back the tears and look a little pale about the line and lie in answer to inquiries which say... Oh, nothing. Pride helps, and pride is not a bad thing when ill only urges us to hide our hearts, not to hurt others. That by designing what is perfectly good, even when we don't quite know what it is and cannot do, what we would be a part of the divine power against evil, a widening by the skirts of light and making the struggle with darkness narrower. Well, ITN World News, BBC Panorama, musicals, reading to me, all the great variety of life you've given me in marriage and even before marriage, Richard, I can only say that I'm delighted that it was our 20th anniversary year. We married 20 years ago in 1999 and I loved every minute of it and even now we're going through a challenging time with the dementia and the loss of memory but we're still enjoying each other's companies and I still wake up every morning and delighted to be in your arms. Thank you very much indeed. That's a wonderful thing to say and I hear said to you. And uh, What is it that we get when again? What kind of disease is it? Dementia, Alzheimer's. Dementia. Thanks so much. We, if we don't know much about it, don't worry. There'll be plenty more, I'm sure, when we get into it. It's such an important issue. We must make sure that people raise the awareness of it and do what they can with what they've got. That's what you've always said. And that's um, it. That's what we need. And what started. were those words that I wanted you to read? All shall be well, and all manner of things shall be well. That's wonderful. Thank you, Richard. Thank you, Carol. Let's now continue our journey together. <laughs> 